what what are some of those concerns? Uh, we were not sitting in on the meeting. Can you kind of relay some of those concerns? You bet. Certainly, st tariff and your steel and that. aluminum um, tariffs, big big deal here because obviously they manufacture using those products. Uh, so making sure that we get through these uh, free trade agreements, making sure we're working good with those other countries like Canada and Mexico, and then looking long term to it, China and, and how we can have a better trade agreement with them. Uh, the company, they did point out that they do export some of their goods, uh, manufactured goods, to Russia and China. So we want to make sure that we're able to develop those trade agreements so we get products into those countries easily. Okay, Senator, another uh, tariff concern is with the farm economy. And I know the $12 billion that the President has promised might help uh, crop farmers fence to fence row, but uh, uh, I think dairy farmers still have a concern about uh, what might, uh, what might be a concern for them? Uh, what do you have to say about well, that? Well, I, I think both with dairy farmers and row crop farmers that this is a really bad situation to be in. And I, I don't know that that $12 billion will actually do a whole heck of a lot. I haven't seen the formula on how that's going to be broken out. Obviously, you said dairy is, is experiencing you know a little bit of concern there. Um, and what I've heard from farmers is they don't want aid, they want trade. So let's focus on opening up markets rather than focusing on a way just to subsidize farmers. It's not what the farmers are asking for. Another uh, trade and tariffs are a huge issue now. Uh, in this area in particular, workforce is another big issue. Um, can you speak to you know, what you heard today and what solutions are out there for companies that are growing but struggling to find workforce? Well, certainly. I think in Iowa we have anywhere between 50 and 60,000 open jobs. Um, and a lot of that is because we don't have the workers that have the skills necessary to fill in the gap. And so just as we walk through here, the, the uh, Henderson Manufacturing has a program established with West Delaware where they are training students to come into positions like this. They're learning welding. Um, so there are a number of opportunities. When they leave high school, they can walk directly into a very good paying job without student loan debt. So I think that's a great selling point. Focusing a lot on the governor's apprenticeship initiatives is really important, and being career ready coming out of high school is very important as well.